Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will learn the difference between while loop and do while loop. Already we have discussed the concept of while loop and do while loop with examples. So now we will learn its difference. While loop is otherwise called pre-test loop, top testing loop and entry control loop. In while loop, first itself it will test the condition only when the condition is evaluated to true, then only it will allow the body of the loop to execute. Suppose if condition fails in the first iteration itself, it will not allow the body of the loop to execute. Since the condition is tested first itself, it is called pre-test loop, top testing loop and only when the condition is true means it will allow the body of the loop to execute. So, it is otherwise called entry control loop. If you are considering the do while loop, in do while loop, by default, body of the loop will execute once. Then only it will check the condition. So it is called post-test loop and condition will be tested at the bottom of the loop. So it is called bottom testing loop. When the condition is evaluated to true means it will allow the body of the loop to execute one more time. Based on the condition only the loop will get exit. So it is called exit control loop. Next difference is syntax for while loop. Why? This is a keyword. Immediately after this keyword, within parenthesis, we need to specify the loop condition. That is expression. Then we have to specify the open curly brace at the end, close curly brace. And within this curly brace only, we have to specify the statements. Any number of statements we can able to specify and all statements it has to end with the semicolon. So this is the syntax for while loop. And if you are considering the do while loop, it starts with the keyword do and then open curly brace and close the curly brace. Within this curly brace only, we have to specify the statements. And all the statements has to end with a semicolon. And at the end of this closed curly brace, we need to add a statement with the keyword while. Then within the parenthesis, we have to specify the loop expression. And it should end with a semicolon. So do while loop will end with a semicolon, but while loop does not end with a semicolon. So this is the syntax for do while loop. Next, if you are considering the flow chart, while loop, first loop expression will be tested. When the loop expression is evaluated to true, it will allow the body of the loop to execute. After execution, again the loop expression will be tested. Again, if the condition is evaluated to true, one more time the body of the loop will execute. So whenever the condition fails means loop will terminate and control will go to next statement in the C code. Suppose in while loop, if the loop expression is evaluated to false in the first iteration itself means the body of the loop will not at all execute even one time. So this is the flowchart for while loop. And if you are considering the do while loop, First, the body of the loop will execute. That is the statement present in the body of the loop will execute first. And then only the expression will be tested. When the expression is evaluated to true means one more time the body of the loop will execute. After executing, again the loop expression will be evaluated. When it is true, again one more time the body of the loop will execute. When this expression is evaluated to false means loop will terminate. It will not allow the body of the loop to execute. But in do while loop, by default, this body of the loop will execute one time. After execution only, it will test the condition. But in while loop, if you are considering first itself, it will test the condition. Only when this condition is true, then only body of the loop will execute. So in while loop, the minimum number of time the body of the loop executes is zero or more time and in do while loop by default it has to execute once so one or more time so minimum number of time the body of the loop executes here is one time and in while loop it does not end with the semicolon but do while loop ends with the semicolon next if you are considering the example this is to find the sum of n numbers i variable is initialized to zero sum is initialized to zero then first itself check the condition whether i value is less than or equal to n. When this condition is evaluated to true only, this body of loop will execute. And it will find the sum, then update the i variable. So here if you are considering, this is the loop variable. Here loop variable is initialized here. And this is the condition evaluation. And this is the loop updation. 
In do while loop, if you are considering the same, i value is initialized to 0. This is a loop variable. And sum is initialized to 0. Then by default, these two statements will execute at least one time. But here, what will happen? When the condition is true only, these two statements will execute. So by default, these two statements will execute. It will find the sum and update the i variable. Then at the end only, at the bottom of the loop only, it will check the condition whether i value is less than or equal to n. If condition is true means it will allow the body of the loop to execute one more time. That is second iteration. So in while loop, if you are considering initialization done at first. Then here condition evaluation done along with the while loop at the top of the loop. But in do while loop, condition evaluation is at the bottom of the loop. And updation is same only. Updation at the end of the body of the loop in both while loop and do while loop. So these are all the main differences between while loop and do while loop. Thank you for watching this video.